What's up, everybody? This is Architect Preacher. So one of the uh, questions that I received uh, while I'm reviewing the LG Wing is, does it have desktop mode? Uh, the answer to that question is yes, it does. So in this video, we're going to go over desktop mode, and I'm going to give you my thoughts, how good, how bad it is in desktop mode on the LG Wing. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So the LG Wing is feature packed. I've been making a lot of videos about this device. And so today's video is all about the desktop mode. And so what you're looking at right now is the LG Wing connected uh, USB type C to my monitor USB type C. And uh, as you guys see, it's working perfectly. So if you have a monitor that utilize USB type C, yes, it will work. Now you do have to do some things here. Um, now, one of the things that I find myself that I had to do is I have to go to developers option and enable force the desktop. So uh, in order to do this, basically you just have to uh, become a developer and y'all know how to do that. If you're watching this video, it's nothing hard to do. Just go to about phone and tap on uh, software information and go to build number and tap on it about six times to become a developer. All right, so once you become a developer, uh, go back into system and go to developers option and scroll all the way down till you see force desktop uh, mode. All right, uh, let me get down to it and down, down, down. It's pretty much almost here at the bottom. Uh, all right, so force desktop mode. I've made a couple of videos about LG desktop and uh, Android desktop, period. It's not that great, it's not polished, uh, but it does the job if you wanna do some heavy typing and you wanna have an external, uh, external monitor. All right, so here it is. Uh, some of the tools that I have here is some of the things I've already tested. This is, a, this is my foldable keyboard. Um, and I wanted to show you guys that. So I made a video about this full of a keyboard. And once I, I now already paired it to the device. Uh, so once you do that, uh, it's now you can have a nice typing experience. All right, once you do that. So I have the Bluetooth keyboard already paired to the device. Uh, so now I can have a good typing experience here. All right, also I have a wireless Bluetooth mouse. And this is also connected to the device. So now at this point, if I look at my monitor, I have a really good immerse experience. I have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected also along with the pen. So I do have my pen connected, but the pen only interacts with the device. So I have the pen connected. I have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected. So that's what I'm talking about, that this device is feature packed. You could do a lot of things here. All right, so here it is. This is the layout. Um, and one of the things that uh, you can do here is you can go to your app drawer and you can add apps, right? Just say if I want to add my telegram, I just right click on it and add the shortcut and there it is. Now the issue with this here is no customization going on. I can't drag uh, or I can right click on it and drag it to uh, make it customized. So uh, yes, some of the things that I think that Android need to do or uh, LG need to do to polish up this desktop experience. So uh, you got limited customization, but it, it can get the job done. Just say you open up Word, double click on it, just like any other PC, right? So let's close that out, go to documents. All right, so now I have a full document and I guess I can go full screen. And so I can use my keyboard. This is a test. All right, so you can use uh, your, your, your keyboard, mouse and all that stuff like that with uh, uh, Android desktop, okay? So that's a good thing, right? Uh, also, you can watch you know, uh, YouTube videos, double click on it and you can watch YouTube videos, which I have my, uh, my profile linked up here, go to my channel. And look, the speed of it is really good. So no issues as far as speed. All right, so uh, let me go here, go to my videos and go to wing. That's the, the last uh, video I did here. All right, so here it is, right? And it looks good. This is a you know nice big 1080p monitor that I have here. So the, the experience is good. And yes, I got volume. 
So I can uh, I can do the volume here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So the volume is here. So uh, if you want to watch YouTube videos or Netflix or, or something like that on a bigger canvas, yes, you can plug up USB Type-C to a monitor to make this happen. Let me explain about the games. Uh, again, games is very limited, but you can play some games here. Uh, let me go to uh, Mario Go, right? So I actually play Mario Go here. I'm sorry, Mario Run. Uh, and so it will play and you can use the mouse to play Mario Run. Uh, obviously you can't resize it, uh, you know, so you just have to understand that you can't resize it. All right, now I do have my Bluetooth uh, gaming pad here connected and it, it just doesn't work. Like, I mean, it, some of the keys work. I try to, uh, you know, sync it. I try to go into settings and, and do all kinds of things to, to make this controller work with certain things in desktop mode. It's not a good experience. It won't work. So, um, you know, it, that's one of the things that I tried. It, it just doesn't work. All right. So everything that I'm saying was wrong with, with the LG desktop or Android desktop. You don't have these issues with Dex. Now I've made so many videos about Dex. You can use your controller. You can resize apps. Uh, you can uh, customize your home screen. You can do all kinds of things with Dex that you cannot do with this desktop mode. All right, so here it is. Uh, and yes, you can play with a mouse using uh, right here. So let me show you guys real quick. Now, again, the performance, even though it has a Snapdragon uh, 765G processor in it, the performance is outstanding so far with the LG Wing. And as you can see, we are good here. All right, and uh, it's ready. And I just wanted to kind of play, and so you, yes. Now you do have a, a small delay. Uh, again, I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So you're gonna have a small delay, nothing, you know, major. And yeah, and that's one of the things that uh, you just have to, when you're playing, you just know that you have a small delay. And, uh, but it's playable. So even when you open up some apps that it, it would not take advantage of the full screen to say uh, if I open up Instagram, if I open up Instagram, uh, definitely can't take advantage of the full screen and hey, it is what it is. And so this is an example of how um, the desktop mode is not polished. Now at this point, I open this app up and now I can't close it. It's not giving me no option to close this app. I can't resize it. I can't do anything here, right? If I try that, oh, okay, so I can resize it. Okay, so I couldn't do it before, but now I can. All right, so I resize it, but here's a problem. I can't close it. Like right here, I, I just can't close it. And so if I right click, if I do anything here, I can't close it. I go down here and try to right click on it. I can't close it. So at this point, this app has crashed. There's nothing I can do here. I can't close this app. Uh, and so this is some of the pain points of using uh, Android desktop is that some of the apps that you open, it don't give you a toggle to close. So this app right here is stuck. I would have to restart desktop mode in order to, to close this app. Then again, this is some of the things that you need to know if you're gonna use desktop mode on Android besides Samsung. Uh, and this is the, uh, you know, the LG desktop. And it's okay if you don't want to play games or if you don't want to open up your social media or if you don't want to go through a lot of different things. You just want to uh, web browse and open up documents and stuff like that. But when you're connecting a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, right? You, you pretty, you can't game, all right? So this makes sure we understand that, yes, I just played Mario Run, but it's, it, it does have a delay. So you won't get that immersive experience when gaming. Uh, you cannot customize your home screen, uh, and that's that's a bummer. So I mean, just even if I want to change my wallpaper here, right? Uh, I would have to probably go into settings. Uh, let's go to uh, display. Let's go to wallpaper here. Uh, then use the wallpaper. Let's go to. Okay, so I can't even open up themes and wallpaper. All right, again, these are some of the the, the pain points. Uh, of desktop mode, I can't even open up, you know, 
certain thing. Let me see if I go to display. Okay, so I can't open up display, but I cannot open up wallpapers and themes, uh, security. I can open up, up that. So I can't change. So I can't change my wallpaper. So if I wanted to make a customized wallpaper, I probably had to do it on the phone first and do it. But it, again, look, I have Instagram sitting up on my desktop, which I can't close. And that's this is the pain point of desktop uh, of Android and LG's desktop mode. Does the LG Wing have desktop mode? Yes, it does, but it's not that great. Uh, desktop mode is not that great. Uh, you're not playing games. Um, some of your apps won't won't open or they won't close. Uh, you cannot customize your home screen. Uh, you can't change your wallpapers. Look like I can't change my wallpapers. Uh, so things it just don't work. All right. So if you want to use a bigger canvas, that's fine. Uh, but just be advised that it's not ready for prime time. All right. That's frustrating, man. So I mean, it is what it is. This is Architect Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the, the LG Wing and the LG desktop in all its glory and not glory because it's not ready. I wouldn't recommend it at this time. See you guys on the next video. Peace.